Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again wrestling sambo jiu-jitsu striking the guy has it all i know you listed striking last but your head coach javier mendez says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training we haven't seen just how good a striker he is we saw shades in the mcgregor fight yes but not complete but technically he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Fighting out of Oak Grove, Minnesota. Love. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And he landed the right hand there. 
That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You you're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he... Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. We got to whip his hip into that kick. Ooh. Oh, straight right. That's what I'm talking about. Keep doing it again. Do it again. Oh, big knee to the body. Inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Let's go. Let's go. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. 30 seconds to go. Double leg, stuffed. And they separate. Nice. Leg kick checked effectively there by Nermago Metal. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion mm -hmm. in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him, too. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Blocks the shot. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. All right, he closes the dish. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Under three minutes now to go in round two. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crab can be mature about this, DC. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Gets right back up. I mean, what an angle pick. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the top position. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. The right hand just misses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All 
right, single collar tie now. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. Visibly limping here. Kick land. What a body kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds left. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have five of them. turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Now a kick to the body. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, wow! Head kick. Outstanding near the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. And they separate. That's a strike right there. He blocks the punch. Jab by him there, got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice punch by Nermazo Meta. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Single collar tie now. Nermago Medov gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Clinch work. Wow, actually got the takedown. Nermago Medov gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Looks like the referee could step in here. Nermago Medov gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Big kick. Got clipped with the right hand. to go. Big body kick land. 15 seconds remain in the round. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight for this point. 
both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expected somebody to get ahead, but they both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating work in the body, and those shots are gonna count. showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Wow. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Medov's got the tie clinch now. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. One minute. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem with the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. Ready? Ready? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Nice kick. His leg is hurt here. You can see it. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Nermago Medov. Can't take many of those. Better check. Flips the shot. Got him, dude. He got him! What a fight! Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career.
So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the Octagon tonight. And here we go inside the Ladies Octagon. Bruce Buffer has the, the official ring. decision. Let's call the stop to this contest at one minute, 20 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO! Well, can you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left the judges out of it. The judges could have went to the concession stand because once he got his opponent hurt, he was not going to stop until he got that TKO.